Rifleman. Starring Chuck Connors. Tried to be quiet and you'd be tired from your trip. Where Sorry. are you going so early? Well, I was going to leave you a note. But where are you going, sir? To town. Well, you still have your Saturday chores to do. I told you last night the flower box needed painting, remember? I remember. Well? I painted it. What about the firewood? Did you stack it? Yep. All right, Paul. Yeah, I guess it's all right. Thanks. Now, wait a minute, son. What's all the rush? Well, wouldn't look good if I were late my first day. First day for what? Oh, I got a job. Hey, it's working Saturdays and after school for Mr. Swenson at the livery stable. Well, what about your homework and your chores around here after school? Don't worry, Pa. I'll get them done. So on. seen you for a week. What's new? Hmm? I said, what's new? finish with this. I want to talk to you, son, now. Well, you've always said yourself, Pa, that when there's a job to be done, get it done. That's exactly what I want to talk to you about. You didn't get the job done. What job do you mean? Your chores. I had to clean the paintbrush, stack the firewood, and do your dishes. Gee, I'm sorry, Pa. Guess I just didn't want to be late for work. Mark, uh, have I ever told you we were so bad off that I needed you to bring money in? No. Well, then why are you working here? Just because I want to. Why? To make money. Money? Now, Mark, listen to me. You know it's true that I've been giving you an allowance ever since you've been seven years old, haven't I? Yes, sir. I increased it every year, didn't I? Yes, sir. Well, I know a boy needs money in his pocket. Now, wait a minute. I pay you for extra chores, too, don't I? Pa, uh, it's not the same. What do you mean, not the same? What you give me, it, it's family money. It's yours. I want to earn my own. Why? Because I want to. Don't get angry, Paul. It's just something I got to do. Oh, I better get back to work. Here comes Mr. Swenson. Nils. Oh, good morning, Lucas. 
Say, that's a good boy you got there. He's a solid worker. Mm-hmm. For you, maybe. Why, is there something wrong, Luke? My boy's my business, Nils. Who asked you to hire him? But what I... right have you got to pick a boy up off the street and put him to work? What kind of business is that? Well, do you mind if I explain, well, Luke? What's there to explain? There are plenty of able-bodied men in this town who need a job, but they want more pay than a 13-year-old boy, don't they? Oh, now, that isn't fair, Luke. Look who's talking about being fair. He doesn't do his chores at home. I've now, been... listen, Luke, I've got something to say. And you're going to stand there till I finish. Anybody who works for me gets the same pay, man or boy. Besides, I didn't haul Mark in off the street. He came to me and asked for a job. Said he needed the money. Why, when you were gone this week, he's been all over this town looking for work. And... Well, just ask anybody on the street. I'm sorry, Nils. Well, I'd have asked you about it, Luke, but you were out of town. Yeah. Uh, Nils, uh, he said he needed money. Yeah? You know what for? Well, he, uh... Oh, well, look, Luke, if you want me to let the boy go, just give me the word. <sighs> no, no, just let it be. Let it be. Thanks. First day a pretty tough one, son? No, it wasn't too bad. Well, you look plum tuckered out. I feel fine, Paul, honest. Mark, if you want some extra money, I'll be happy to advance you a couple of dollars. No, Pa. That'd still be yours. You don't expect me to do your weekend chores for you, do you? I'll do. I feel fine, honest, Pa. I feel fine, honest, Pa. Come on. Let's go to bed, huh? Come on. I figure we'll go on down the ridge, and then outside of North Fork, we'll cut down through Border Pass in order to get in there by Saturday. Saturday? With every lawman in the territory gunning for us? That's five days off. All we have to do is head right this way, and we're in Mexico day after tomorrow. Well, I know that, but I, I told Lester to wait for me in North Fork. I told I'd pick up in there by Saturday night. Ben, I'm not going with you. It's too dangerous. Look, my life belongs to me. That's not so unreasonable, is it? Oh, well, I suppose it is. Can I have my half of the money? Oh, sure, I mean, it's yours. No hard feelings, Ben? Well, no, ain't gonna be no hard feelings. We gonna have a good time, Master and me, though. Good luck, Ben. Take care of yourself now. Feelings, Wally. Just a minute. It's been one week. I want to know how long this is going to keep up. Please, Paul. I Mark, gotta go. answer my question. Well, I'll be late for work. I got to go, Paul. No.
never mind that now. Son, I got an errand for you. Yes, sir? Yeah, I want you to take this up to Tom Marar, bring back another horse for shoeing. You know where the Marar place is, don't you? Yes, sir, just past Twin Oaks. That's right. Shouldn't take you more than an hour. I can make it faster than that, Mr. Swenson. There's a shortcut up the Border Pass. Oh, now, you never mind about any shortcuts. That Border Pass is no place for a boy. Now, you stick to the main road, all right? All right. You bet. You heard my gun go off, huh? Yes, sir. Yeah, I had a terrible thing. I had to shoot my horse over there. He busted his leg and everything. And I had to put him out of his misery. Oh, I'm sorry. Say, uh, it's a nice, uh, nice animal you got here. Uh, you, uh, what you doing out here anyway? I mean, you live around here? Where you live? I live on the other side of Northport. Oh. Well, listen, that's awful long. I mean, how come a boy like you is so far away from home, huh? Well, I'm on an errand. Oh, for your bar, huh? No, sir, for, for the livery stable in Northport. Oh, well, uh, it seems awful funny sending a boy out here on an errand through this pass like it. I took a shortcut. Oh, uh, on your own, then, huh? Honest, mister, I, I gotta be on my way. <laughs> Now, you ain't even being polite, boy. I mean, yeah, I am out here in the middle of nowhere, no horse or nothing. You ain't even giving me a sociable minute. I mean, that ain't even being polite, boy. Uh, honest, mister, I gotta be on my no, way. Sure you do, sure you do, but your mom must have taught you better manners than this. I haven't got a mom. Well, you must have a paw or something, then. Oh, 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 Now, there ain't gonna be no more arguing about it, boy. 
You get down off that animal. I don't know what's happened to that boy. It's got me puzzled. One week and I still can't get a straight answer out of him. He's never held back on me before. Says he wants to earn his own money, but he won't tell me why. Another thing I can't figure. When he first started this job, he neglected his chores. Now he's doing them. I should be back doing my work, but I can't keep my mind on it. What are you grinning at? You ask me, Lucas, I think you've got growing pains. I've got growing pains. Mark's growing up, and you're feeling the pain of it. Now, look, Micah, you know it better than anybody around here. I've always given that boy a sense of responsibility, haven't I? I've tried not to be too strict with him, haven't I? Boy. And I certainly haven't pampered him, have I? Well, the boy's got to grow into a man on his own, you know. Well, part of that growing is being straightforward with people, especially your father. Well, it could be you're stepping on the brakes a little too hard now. Oh, what's that supposed to mean? Well, I'll tell you, Lucas. Maybe you're trying just a little bit too hard to hold on to the boy. Maybe you're thinking more about yourself than you are about Mark. Oh, come on, Mike. He's only 13 years old. Boy that age has no right working for a living. Now, you come on, Lucas. He's not working for a living. Now he's got no right working at all. Tell me, Lucas, boy, how old were you when you first started working? When I was a boy, things were different. Oh, sure, sure. You know the trouble with you, Micah? The trouble with you is you always got an answer for everything. Isn't that why you come in here? No. Well, don't say you're sorry. Hi, Micah. What's the matter with him? Growing pains. Huh? Skip it, Ed. Oh, for you, Micah. Came in on the Central City stage. Oh, thanks. Send him on an errand. Should be back by now. Well, where'd you send him? Out to Tom Marar's place to take a horse back and bring another one in for shoeing. Should have taken him this long. Tom! What? Where's Mark? Mark? What do you mean, Lucas? He was supposed to be at your place. To pick up that mare. Well, nobody came. I thought you forgot, Nils. Must have seen him along the road. He had to travel that way. Shortcut. He was going to take the shortcut up of the border pass. The border pass? I told him not to. Well, if he took the shortcut, he would have been in my place a long time ago. Unless something happened.
looking for a boy. Uh -huh. He was mounted. A boy? My son, about 13 years old. Oh. You haven't seen him, huh? Well, no, I haven't seen anybody around here all day. Thanks. Yeah, I hope you find him. Uh, hey, uh, you gonna be here for a while? Oh, uh, why? Well, if he should ride by, tell him I'm looking for him. Will you tell him to wait here for me? Well, I sure will. Uh, thanks. His name is Mark. Mark, huh? Yeah, Mark. All right, hold him, mister. You move away from that horse. My boy was riding that horse. Where is he? Then he could have made no difference to you. Where is he? I said move away from there. Swenson told me not to take the shortcut. You've got a right to be angry with me. Yes, I have, son. But let's forget about it for now. I'm glad you're all right. settled this working business last Saturday. You're not going to start that again, are you? No, sir. Well, then why are you up so early? Mm -hmm. No special reason. What are you hiding there? Happy birthday, Pa. You mean... This is the reason that... Well, I bought it with the money that Mr. Swenson paid me. I, I wanted to earn it, Paul. I, I wanted this to be something from me to you. Really. Well, it, it isn't exactly new or anything, but it it's real shiny. Thank you. <laughs> 